Ching Chui. You are hereby expelled from the commission. Hey, what's up, guys? Er, right, my bad. <clears throat> Hey, I love an intro. Hey, what's up, guys? We're here today with Little Gway. Make sure to like. No, no formations right now. Make sure to like, share, and favorite to support your C and Joe Lafu streamer, Little Gway. And whoa, whoa, of course. Anyways, though, let's get this quest underway, shall we? Sounds good. Let's have a think about it. Huh? Ah, right, here we go. Yes. I forgot where we were doing this entirely. Here's a picture I just snuck for a post. Double Bailu action. Little Gwe Gwen Gwe Gwe When did you take it? Don't worry too much. You people need to remember to take more pictures too, okay? More pics equals more fans. Write that down, write that down! Next up is a little creativity. Uh, liberty, am I right? Of scoops. Uh, a plain and simple retelling of a supernatural experience won't get any fans in it, so we need to add a little pizzazz. Ten Lords Commission also hopes to reduce the panic caused by the es escaped Helia Laba Laba. Uh, so adding in some embellishment would be good. Just looking different post styles. Uh, we'll also receive different types of comments. <gasps> what? Who would have thought? Mythopedia. There are two Bailus. We're going with breaking news. Two Bailus. Mind blown. Look at all this shit. <laughs> Let's go. To change it if you're unsatisfied. Mind blown. Check out this cosmic horror that can duplicate itself. <gasps> you did not just call, call Bailu a cosmic horror. We, we got to get rid of that. Um, okay. Um, hold on. Hold on. So, breaking news. Nope. Oh, I literally can't. Okay, never mind. Say that's a good title. Uh huh. What does everyone think? Alrighty then. You already if posted it. Why would you ask now? No one said anything. You what? Should go back soon, Lady Vilu. Those two medics have had a rough day. Yes, they have. Okay, I'm going back now. Thanks for the rescue. Anytime, Vilu. Case closed. I never knew catching heliobi would require so much work. Mm-hmm. We are not done yet. Madam Hanya said that once we've subdued a heliobus, we should return to Fixtral Garden and lock them inside one of the evil binding matrix's suppression towers. Oh. We actually have to go do that? Oh god. Where the hell's this mission at? This one? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I, I read the comments. A lot of people said, hey, just letting you know this. Oh, it's the crazy Wraith Warden lady. Uh, they were like, just letting you know, this mission's actually really long. And I was like, nah, how long could it be? Uh, it's been what? what? Yeah, so, I mean, this video, like, as of right now, I've got three or four videos for it recorded. This will be the fifth, I believe. I'm remembering that right. Expel evil and capture stray spirits. With the support of the Ten Lords Commission Spirit Fairs, you seal the Healy Habalaba within the Lubida Capital Gourd. It's over. <sighs> now I can finally get some rest. No, the mission's not over. But there are still lots of Heliobi roaming around out there. We can't rest for too long. That's right. Let tomorrow worry about tomorrow. I couldn't agree more. I'd rather focus on resting first. I need to wait for my heart rate to recover before I go chase My heart rate Helios. to recover. Uh, let's continue in a group chat. New messages. Uh, Gwenefin uh, has invited you, Sushang, and Hua Hua to a group chat. Here, coming. Hello, everyone. Glad to e-meet you all. Is that what they call it these days? And <laughs> I want to quit. Nah, this seems like a fun chat. Uh, we, might, we, we might as well, we, we gotta come in positive, right? Glad to e-meet you all. What? Our post today is blowing up, oh my god. It's got tons of comments and reposts and has become one of the hottest posts today. Woo! 
Oh, that's amazing for what? What is this? A brand new fucking account? No, we're using her main account. That's right. Woo woo! Yeah, everyone, go take a look. Click. The Whoa! Don't put links in chat. What if this goes to Cornhub? Oh my god. I would say I've never seen this kind of explosion before in any of my con- oh. Scared me. Uh, any of my content, but if anyone was part of the uh, recent premiere, whew, that was funny. That was funny. Uh, new investigation assignments. Anyone met a weirdo in Exalting Sanctum who wants to play chess? Go something squad, go! <laughs> What is this? All the ghost hunting squad. I like how it's a button. Do -do 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 -do. What is this like squad up picture? Welcome to the ghost hunting squad meeting point. Uh, by order of the Ten Lords Commission, we are free to capture the Heliohulaba here. Uh, now open Ghost of the Grove and check out what people have been posting. Let's go, Ghost of the Grove. Just keep investigating. That way you can make a name for yourself and not to mention receive more investigations. Uh, this post has piqued my interest. Click it and check it out. Uh, recently exchanged individuals. Uh, the trail she promised might even be coins forged from souls. Oh no. Uh, no more amateurs. Most handsome in RM Alley. Oh my god. Little Gwen, number one simp. Oh jeez. Get this guy out of here. Who the fuck is this? Man? No simping here. Uh, you even hear yourself when it gets nothing but defeat means turning into a zombie. Why would anyone take this risk? I'll take the case. Wait, this is longer than I thought it would be. A ghost star skiff? Okay, well, this will get me what I need to... Uh... Here, I'm just going to cut these out. Welcome back, little Gweg. Future winner of life. I like that username. Boom, we did it. Popularity increased. Ah, oh, yes, we have a new investigation, finally. Sweet God. Um, how does this look on the, the map? Because, like, people told me this was long, but, like, my God. There we go. Wait, what? There's more now? Oh, for sake. Yeah, I'm absolutely cutting out all the blues and I'm just doing the oranges. That is insane. I can't be doing this. How long is this? I thought I was going to do this in like three or four videos and move on to future market. Dude, I'm delaying Pina Coney way more than I intentionally, originally intended to. What the Hello. fuck? Let's get started with today's operations. Let's do this shit. The Ten Lords Commission Special Operations Team for the Heliobus Containment Breach Incident, aka the Ghost Hunting Squad, is squad. ready for action. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, I didn't even see it. She said, "Yeah." Yeah. Oh. Huh? Huh? Can I switch to a four-day week? <laughs> yeah. Looks like we're the only ones in good spirits today. That's fucking right. <laughs> Oh, little Gwei, what kind of magical elixir did you take to make you so energetic? Every time I see our follower count increase, I get so excited I can't even sleep. Oh my it god. It's better than any kind of tea or coffee. Wow, oh, aren't you lucky? As soon as I closed my eyes, I dreamt of endless running and circling and chasing after Lady Bailu. <clears throat> it was even more exhausting than doing it in real life. That's unfortunate. Sushong, you slept for an entire day. All <laughs> <coughs> oh, that made me laugh so hard. Just that initial gasp. Catching ghosts is a night job. It only makes sense to sleep during the day. How are you a disciplined cloud knight? <laughs> yeah, I have an idea. How about we all just pretend that I've been possessed by a sleep ghost? Let me sleep for another 10 hours and then call it a day's work. Mm, I see. <laughs> you sound like someone I know. A certain celestial jade playing divination commission employee, perhaps? Mm. 
Famous, I see. Divination commission? Celestial Jade? Shouldn't they be doing divinations? Shouldn't you be doing Cloud Knight stuff? Like, don't you fucking roast other people. Uh-uh. Not here. Not like that. Anyways. It's this girl. Here, look at this post. What do you mean, this girl? What is happening? I'm late as usual for tile gamer forever. Oh, I wonder who this is. I'm late as usual for work today and everyone's acting sus. <gasps> um, at a certain undisclosed commission, it's really strange. When I arrived at work today, everyone seemed off. Their faces were pallid, expressions gloomy, and they had distant, unfocused gaze from something along. I'm curious to ask what happened. No one said a word. The entire Divination Commission feels eerie. It scared me to the point where I lost all interest in playing tiles. What's even stranger is that I wanted to slip away when nobody was looking, but I ran to the Master Diviner. She didn't even ask about my attendance. She just told me to be late as usual. Something is definitely going on in this in a certain uh, something is definitely going on in this certain commission, the name of which I am not at liberty to say. <laughs> Videotera Online. It's like a StarCraft reference. Goliath Online. Oh my gosh, so scary. Blessed Average Joe. Story of my life. Okay, let's do this shit. Hi, take my job seriously. I never post something like late as usual on a public forum. Um, Miss Sushang, I think you missed the interesting part. Mm hmm The description in this comment is really suspicious. It definitely sounds like Heliobi activity to me. And if Heliobi have managed to infiltrate the Divination Commission, that spells big trouble for the Lafu. It does. You're right. Maybe we should contact Miss Chingchue and warn her not to go to work today. Since when does she need reminding to do it? Yeah, let me call her. Uh, don't go to the Divination Commission. <laughs> don't worry, I just saw what happened. I posted about it as soon as I took a left, turned out the door. So what exactly is happening? Why is everyone looking sluggish? Guard the gate. I'm getting my bat ready. Don't let anyone around. Stay safe. We'll be right there. I got it. Now I'm a real door guardian. Oh, no. Notification. Percipient. I guess now we should go to the Divination Commission and see what's going on. Yes, we should. Mm, but let's talk to Cirrus again first. Really? Look, I don't have my people leveled up. We can't just be getting into fights here, guys. Like, I upgraded my equilibrium level. <sighs> Trying to upgrade my people. It's painful. Everyone's like, yeah, upgrade it. You'll get more resources. Like what, one? Fucking doesn't make it any faster. Since when did Is that over there? Hello, you sick so, little ghost. You imprisoned Luxie in the Matrix. And I heard the cries of other Heliobi longing to break free. That would seem the Ten Lords Commission has everything under control. What is it you want from me? Why is it every time we talk to this character, it is always this angle of, like, down on Sirius's level and everyone's just looking down on them? We miss you. Yeah, let's be a little sassy with it. Ugh. You have managed to disgust me still further. One victory equals one question. Uh, don't forget the agreement you made with the general. Don't be so sure of victory before the battle begins, young one. Without tail to protect you. Isn't so doing a Heliobus a bit overwhelming for you? Ha! Joke's on you. As soon as combat starts, I get my tail back. That's right. Get wrecked. You know, if you can accept me with an open heart, I can take his place and help you. Now we ain't letting you out. Uh, really? <gasps> Don't you dare sway my beautiful, beautiful healer. That's what I wanted to hear. You're trying so hard to persuade me means that you're not sure of victory either. If you were, you'd have devoured us without hesitation. Am I right, Cirrus? Then have it your way. I'll destroy Ching Yuan's pawns here and now. Yeah, let's fucking go. How much your previous victory go to your heads? Your undoing. No undoing. Whoa. Oh my god. 
God, chill. Stand still. Oh, bro, I'm rocking your shit. What do you mean? I just obliterated you. We did it. Ask your question. We think the Divination Commission has been infiltrated by a Heliobus, but we don't know which one. Hmm. Entering the Sienjo's window to the future, it must be none other than... Keraloom. Keraloom. They always relished hounding your prophets and seers with questions of destiny. Watching them flounder between the random and the preordained. <laughs> that pile of protein in your human skull is computationally inefficient. Your conjectures on Destiny are little more than analogies and illusions. I am literally the plot device made to break destiny. Fucking come at me. But we, the shapeless, are different. When we come together to harmonize and observe, destiny is clear and vivid as firelight cast into darkness. Oh my god, what an illusion. Ugh, in warfare, nothing is more important than being able to predict your opponent's movements. Among the fragments of Ignamar, Keralum was in charge of knowing the past and predicting the future. That's crazy. Oh, why did that just give me a really cool idea for D&D? &D? Whatever. They said that during that fateful battle, Keralum had a premonition of failure, but Ignamar ignored their warnings. It looks like we have a clear target this time. Let's get going. I may not have the same predictive power as Keralum, little fox girl, one thing I do know is that sooner or later you will beg for my help. Really? Huh. Yeah, that's Time right. Give him a humph. Oh, you can stand on this. I didn't know if you could walk on this or not. What is this? Why are you here? Do you not recognize me? Busy people of short memories, it shouldn't come as a surprise that I can't seem to recall who you are. Why do you look like a fucking, uh, a Poe from Zelda? You feckless, insidious little to obtain victory, so can I, you know, you're you destined tricks to win! Shall you accept the duel? Uh, I did not have time to play right now, because I know you want to face me in chess. I actually low-key do want to do more of that minigame, but, uh, we will, we will, we'll, 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 we'll rain check on this one, okay? Nope, you don't want to do that right now, little ghost. I am busy. I will come back and do all that off camera with you. <sighs> Such a peaceful spot. <laughs> oh, you're here. Is that a Ten Lords Commission judge? Yeah, I didn't know either. Something's amiss in the Divination Commission. Everyone is mumbling to themselves. Is this some workforce overhaul? Did I set a bad example? Yep. Uh, I'm afraid not, Miss Chingtua. Something unexpected happened. I'm just not sure how to explain it. Uh, the, the Divination Commission may have been infiltrated by some unknown <laughs> creature. If you rush in, you could become a target too. Miss Sushong, we're supposed to be operating in secret. Oh, we are? Oh, God. I want Chingtua to have an idea of the gravity of the situation. I got comfortable because it's the nerd and she's usually in my party. Suppose Miss Ching Chua should be safe enough. The one we're chasing probably has a more complicated target. That sounds like a compliment, but at the same time, <laughs> eh, I'll just take it as a compliment. Why do her eyes look so evil and demonic right here? In that case, Miss Ching Chua, could you stand guard here for us while we investigate? Yes, door guardian. It doesn't seem like a good idea to just stand here under such dangerous circumstances, does it? I mean, you could leave, but... Wait, are you thinking of coming with us? Didn't you see how bad the situation was? Yeah, yeah, I've seen it all right. But if I leave now, won't that count as an authorized absence? Ooh. 
I can get away with slacking off, but the Master Diviner won't tolerate complete abandonment of my post. Besides, mm. you guys need someone familiar with the Divination Commission to show you the way, right? Then let's go. Let's go. What's going on? There. Stay close to me, okay? That's the thing I saw in the background of the previous, uh, in one of the previous combats. I don't know if I cut that out or not. I can't remember. Like, what is going on? What are they looking at? Is everyone okay? What in the fucking Bloodborne make contact gesture is happening? There is only one way. Divination is meaningless. How did the Matrix of Prescience become like this? Look, Diviner Foe is standing at the center of the Matrix of Prescience. What is she doing? You know, guys, I probably shouldn't be here. I may have accidentally broken this thing the last time I was here. Maybe you all should take over. Judging by her chanting, I think she's performing navigation calculations. Or divining. But something's not right. The Matrix of Prescience isn't moving at all. A Heliobus? Is that the danger you were talking about? I read about them in a book. Starfire essence that can transform itself. Enjoys manipulating the dreams and desires of mortals. I... what? You mean the Master Diviner is being controlled by something I like didn't expect that? you to know what we were doing. How can we snap her out of it? I have a bat. We could try ringing the harmonic chime. If we're close enough, we should be able to enter the Heliobus's illusion. Shake it. Shake and not stir... what? Oh, boy. Silence. Idle chatter is not permitted in the Divination Commission. Oh, angry tiny. Master Diviner, you're awake! Or perhaps we should call you Caroloom. It doesn't matter what you call me. I am the master of the Divination Commission. And it sounds like someone is angry. The current divination has reached a delicate stage, and no one is permitted to disturb it. Not even a judge of the Ten Lords Commission or a guest from the Astral Express. Time to fight. Uh oh. Ching Chui, I have grown weary of your insubordination. Are you the one who brought these outsiders into the commission? Have you turned a deaf ear to a <laughs> laid down? You're fired. Ching Chui. You oh. are hereby expelled from the commission. <laughs> I didn't expect to get that right. Now do what I do when my boss threatens you. That's... Say you're happy. Say sweet freedom. Turn Now we're down one person. A great idea! Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> My days here really have been unproductive. The slow head turns of everybody. Been playing Celestial Jade, all while taking a divination commission salary. It's how to put it. Too much of a good thing. Sure sounds like it. I could only dream of having a cozy job like that. I would call it wasting my life away. Oh. Thank you, Master Diviner, for giving me the push I needed. <laughs> Since you feel that my skills could be put to better use elsewhere, it's time for me to think about making some changes. This is beautiful. But before I leave, I have to help these guests take care of some trouble here at the commission. If I don't, people will think I was fired because of cowardice in the face of danger. And then we threw a tile at you and did a King Tillion damage. She's just like, did that really just happen? <laughs> Giving a dramatic speech to my boss was cool and everything, but it's not going to help her break free from the Heliobus cloud in her mind. <laughs> She's like, yeah, no shit. Now, why are you still here? I'm not sure what to do. The Heliobus isn't trying to trap us inside the illusion, and it doesn't look interested in attacking us either. Clouding my mind? I've never been a clearer mind than I am right now. From now on, I will dedicate myself to defining the predetermined futures of the CNJO Alliance, and will make these futures known to the world so that all can live in clarity. Ah. Uh. 
Since when is it predetermined? I know what you want to say. Spare me the lecture on human wisdom prevailing over nature and those ridiculous notions of free will. These are but crude illusions created by the brain. From the beginning, there was only one path. No, I will find the answer to the story in my own way. You... You are nothing more than a pawn at the mercy of the Stellaron Hunters. What day you boarded the Express, who your enemies are, where you go. These choices that you think you make freely of your own accord are mere tributaries. That will eventually converge on the path of destiny. I don't know, have you seen my episode 34 of my Star Rail playthrough? I really did not go with the flow very well. Your journey to the Sienjo, the defeat of Fantilia. All these were written into a script long ago by that slave to destiny, hidden in the shadows. Even in this very moment, your options are few. Ready your bat and charge at me. Argue with me loudly and futilely, or fall into silence. Hmm. Well, you definitely came up with one of the options that I want to do. Don't let her words get to you. There are always other options. Yeah, let's go play Celestial Jade. You're right. <laughs> the rise and fall of the tides are dictated by the fire trigram and the water trigram. You are powerless against such a force. You have no hope of defeating me. If March can consider you, like, easy peasy, uh, this lineup, I don't even want to pretend. There it was. I saw it in the background again. Yep. Did I win? Did I win? You did. Not even a thing. Hell, you're back. Such trivial choices cannot change the inevitable. You didn't even fight. If you are still not convinced, I can demonstrate to you the true nature of destiny in a way that your human brain can comprehend. Yes, please. Then follow me. What is this? This place is what the Divination Commission calls the Pathfinder. Wait, what? It's a sandbox game that diviners use to simulate future paths and exercise our minds. But why did the Master Diviner bring us here? That's right. Now listen. If you place an ingenium in this little maze and give it a command, it will find its way to the exit precisely as it was commanded to do so. Are humans not the same as they navigate the path of destiny set before them? But you're probably thinking, humans are not machines. There is more than one path in the universe. There is more than one path. Machines we are. Complex, sophisticated, but machines. We are just like the Ingenium in this maze. We have no options to speak of. We can only navigate one path. The one that takes us to our destination. You know, path is a two-way street, right? Let's begin. Lead the Ingenium to the exit. Show me how many choices destiny gives you. What is this proving? It feels like we're dancing to the Heliobus's tune. Thank you. This doesn't do anything. Let's begin. Lead the Ingenium to the exit. Show me how many. All right, all right. Make sure you're paying attention. All right. Oh, it's hard to flex a bit. Uh, let's see. So we're going to go. Do, 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 do. We did it. That was but one path. You must now do another. You just said it was all one path. I am a machine. I'm going to well knock this done. little pink bitch out. Your choices are as the Omnisia foresaw them. You There's literally only one way out. There was only one answer to this puzzle from the beginning. Just as destiny has only one path. You had... Yes. For a puzzle that was designed from the start, choosing any other path would be a pointless mistake. But the universe isn't someone's game. And no one is designing puzzles for us to solve. 
The universe doesn't have a single answer. No, actually, it we does. We can do anything we want while we're in it. It's never mind. Even we'll leave that uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy reference out of this for now. And read a book, or find someone to play Celestial Jade with, and that's freedom. I never thought slacking off could convince me of anything. A sign of a true scholar. I was gonna say, what is this like prophetic speaking bullshit? Sushong, snap out of it! <laughs> a slacker helio bus is getting into your head. Chingchui, <sighs> Chingchui. For you, life may have a seemingly infinite number of choices. That is because your choices are simply different ways of slacking off and wasting time. They are of no consequence to anything. But for me, choices come with very real consequences. Oh, yeah? <sighs> That's the most divinery thing you've said so far. As the master diviner of the La Fu, I have a heavy responsibility. I must comb through the complex threads of destiny day after day, all for the preservation of this giant ship. You haven't done very good recently. I'm just going to throw that out there. And then I think we're actually coming back to the game in a future, or back here in a future update, and it still doesn't go good. So what the fuck do you mean you're doing good? Some paths look promising, but lead Sorry. to an abyss a of despair. Loud there. Then there are small trails that plunge deep into unimaginable darkness. And in the end, I realize that we have no real choices. There is only one path to follow, only one way to the optimal solution, even if it is paved with ashes and bitterness. We're in the end game now. There is only one way, and there only ever was. Everything must die. Oh, what do we do? I don't think we can persuade her. This is why I clicked the bat option in the beginning, guys. I have a proposal. Why don't we try a more advanced sand? There is no way we are about to watch the nerd outdo the pink. However long you want to play this game, and whatever tricks you try to pull, I'll happily play along. <gasps> Miss Jingchua! Yeah, I don't know about this one. Use your free will to guide the Ingenium out of the sandbox. <laughs> nah, I'm good. Oh no, we're actually doing Let's it. Okay. Begin. Lead the Ingenium to the exit. Show me how many. What is happening? Oh, this one's a little weirder. Um, how many moves do I got? I have five moves. So I gotta end up. Wait. Nope. There it is. It's just literally the previous puzzle, but it's just turned sideways. The path changed slightly, but it was just as simple. I'm sure the Master Diviner would say. Destiny only has one path. Your choices are just a predetermined solution to the puzzle. It's a fucking man-made game. Of course it only has one way. Actually, I don't think I agree. Master Diviner, let's reset the sandbox and give it another go. What is happening? Again? Do it all over again exactly as it was? You can try it a million times over, and a million times over it is doomed to the same fate. Because there What's is his only face? one path. What I would do is I'd be like, all right, ready, and start. And then I would just jump over the wall, grab the robot, and throw it over the wall of the maze and be like, there, it got out. <laughs> I see what you're thinking, Ching Chui. You're an interesting one. I'm, I, this is some weird game meta bullshit that I'm not following. Ching Chui, I've been thinking through the calculations for this puzzle. There really is only one solution. This maze was designed by Carolum. It's no use. There aren't any other solutions. As long as we're playing this so-called game of destiny, we can't win. No, there's a second choice. There will always be another choice. Mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Trailblazer, quick, say something to persuade her. No, I believe in the nerd. I didn't mean like that. No, I, I fully... <laughs> 
I disappointed my other daughter. Oh no. Ready to begin? Of course there's another solution to this sandbox. Listen to my idea. You're all gonna help, right? There is more than one path. Let's do it. Miss Chingchua, I don't know how you're planning to solve the puzzle, but I'll support this squad to the end. I love when her voice gets high pitched like that. It's so fun. Count me in. I'm sure Miss Chingchua has something up her sleeve. If we can help, I'm in. I only need two people for my plan to work. Uh huh. What? What is? What is happening? Like, are we doing what I'm? I said, and we're just literally gonna go in here and grab the damn puzzle. You go stand in the sandbox, right about that spot over there. Uh, oh, I don't have trailblazer in the party. Next, Judge Huoco, you stand on the other side of the room, and stop shaking. <laughs> All right, we're ready. Oh, this is awkward. And now the second path appears. Let's begin. Lead the Ingenium to the exit. Show me how many choices destiny gives you. You're so chuny. It annoys me. I just want to throw you. Um, okay, and then we're gonna go with that way it won't work. So they're clearly new blockers, right? So. Oh, that's way more than five inputs. Do I have to hit their square or am I still, are they just acting as new spaces that I can bump into? Uh, let's see, uh, one, two, three. Okay, let's do that. Wait, what? Oh, I hit clear, no duh. I was like, oh. This is the other solution, the alternative choice. I created a new solution. solution. That's fucking right. Master Diviner, you're not the only one who can design a puzzle. And I don't tread the path of destiny alone. Where's Hua Hua? Why didn't you include Hua Hua in this frame? But whatever, we'll take it. <laughs> you think that by calling on your companions for help, you created a new path out of thin air? I'm sorry, did you forget the entire point of the Sandra storyline was to figure out that the Stellaron Hunters are trying to make us companions with other people for an end game you're just playing with semantics i could weave a thousand routes for you but they lead to the same destination so what significance is there in having a choice you don't even understand shakes head creatures like you don't understand humans the universe is like jade tiles on a game table when the tiles are shuffled, the outcome is already predetermined. Oh, which tiles can be played? Which tiles are left over? What kind of hand the person next to you is trying to make? All of these can be determined through calculations. But if everything is just a calculation, the game loses its flavor. Agreed. Randomness and adaptability. Yes. Ambushing your opponent. Yes. Twists and turns. Yes. The balance of the elements. Ah. It's a mix of calculations, unknowns, and loss of complete control that makes Celestial Jade the kind of game it is. And those are the same things that give life its color and vibrance. Thank you for defining life and D and D. Do my choices at the game table mean nothing if I have a sure loss in front of me? No. no, I say. Choices are what make the game meaningful in the first place. Yes, she fucking gets it. Legion, clap. Clap for the nerd. Clap. Clap for Quintillion damage. Even if I lose, I'll still make choices to lighten the loss. 
Just like the Master Diviner is making choices for her own agenda. Yeah, and how she wants to be General of the Lawfu. You were right when you said that as Master Diviner, you must comb through the complex threads of destiny day after day. All for the preservation of this giant ship. In this vast universe, a game where there are only losers. Our Master Diviner is making endless choices. Fighting against the odds just so the Lawfu can travel safely for another day. Wow. In my book, wow. she's the best player there is. Wow. Why would someone as talented as the Master Diviner go through the trouble of making endless choices if the end result is predetermined? Heliobus, you cannot fathom the joys of humanity. You are imprisoned by the illusion of destiny, unable to free yourself. And do you want everyone who peeks into the future to suffer the same pain as you? It's it, like everything. No one's ready for the human element. You don't understand humans at all. Dun, dun, dun. Drops Mike. <laughs> don't let them trick you, Fu Xuan. Don't push me away. Don't let her work fool you. Nah, your pride's getting in the way. Your worst worker just told you off. <laughs> now, fuck her up. Kiraloom, release the Master Diviner! Hell yeah, brother. I see you through your trickery. I see you through every bit of it. I'm going to lose. Victory is beyond my reach. Why? Why is there no alternative? Everything in this universe is predetermined. No, I, I have no path to Oh, Jacques Lusso. Oh, we need an ultimate quick. Didn't hurt. Stand still. Stay away from my healer, you meanie. No, you st Oh, that ain't good. Oh, this. Oh, no. Say bye to breathing. Good time. Time to say bye. Boom. Ill fate descend. I like adding. Relax. Ooh, just made that. Destiny's hand has truly blessed me. What do you want to know? Well, that's sorry, I didn't even pay attention to that. That's what gave me the fucking skill points. Oh, I just got sanctioned. Now you just got sanctioned. Master Diviner! Are you alright? I am. You're still fired, though. Uh, I... I'm fine. Just a small headache, nothing more. Alright, we're good. It's just a small headache. Like everything about her character. It's normal to experience some discomfort after being possessed by a Heliobus, but nothing a few medicinal pellets can't take care of. Uh, is that Caroloom? <laughs> they may not be the most powerful fragment, but becoming entangled in their illusion can lead to endless despair. You look like one of those fucking, uh... Oh, I can't think of the name of it. Like this, the, those like dancing like celebration masks. Or that's like a halo and those are wings and it's a weird uh, uh, Eldrazi angel. Hurry. Just hurry up and see me in the darkness. I foresee what happens next. You're going to imprison me. See, I'm a spiteful piece of shit. I would have just let him run free after that. That is because I am not bound by duty or responsibility. Uh, everyone else here is, so. Thanks to you, the Divination Commission is safe again. No need to thank me, Master Diviner. But so that counts! Me, while you were possessed, you fired me from the Commission. So... That counts, right? I'll have to ask you to give me written notice that my contract's been unilaterally terminated. Then, with all the years I've spent in the Divination Commission, I'll be able to get a great severance package. Oh no. And I already planned what to do with all the money. 
I'm gonna open a gaming parlor. <laughs> Hire a couple of workers to run it, and spend the rest of my days living off the profits. I'll have started a new life without having lifted a finger. <laughs> That's brilliant and beautiful. It's just a shame that you know what's coming next. Are there two Ching Chues? That's what I thought too, but... Uh, I see. <clears throat> what a pity. I don't recall anything I may or may not have said while possessed by the Healy of us. Oh no. Uh, in any case, Ching Chue, why are you still here? Shouldn't you be on duty back at the repository? Huh? M Master Diviner, you can't back out now! Of course I can. After all, there are always choices in life. You taught me that. Oh, not when they use your own ammunition against you. <sighs> I can't convince real you, let alone possessed you. Master Diviner, you should get some rest. I'm gonna go take a br I mean... Get back to work. <laughs> this is this is a beautiful quest. <laughs> I love this quest. Oh, uh, Fushua brings herself to inspect the commission in order to soon restore. My brought great shame on the divination commission. Yep. Hmm. I shall have to think of a way to keep her from talking. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh. Heliobi are good at finding people's weaknesses and exploiting them. Everyone has some kind of weakness. You're not to blame. That's right. You were just a victim of the Heliobus's trickery, Diviner Fu. No need to blame yourself. I must express my sincere gratitude to all of you for your help. Apologies, but the Divination Commission is in disarray at the moment. I must return and set things in order. I'm afraid I cannot see you off in person. It's all good. Wait! There's something we need to ask you. If this is about, like, can you post pose for, like, a stream pic? What is it? Hmm. I agree that the Master Diviner gets possessed wouldn't make for a good headline. Yeah, it turns out. I don't care how you spin the story, so long as you leave my name and identity out of it. There we go. Okay, breaking news. Second Arumatan uprising imminent. That one's much better. No, that's a terrible idea. I have many things to attend to. Please allow me to save my thanks for another day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We won't delay you any longer. We need to go to Fixtral Garden and seal Caroloom away. Is any Matrix Manager? You're a child. What is with these children on the law food? I don't get this shit. Okay, come on. Let's go back. We'll put the Heliobus in and we're going to call it on this one. Well, this is where I built Herda. Yep, right here. This is the thing I built for Herda. She's right down there. Swallow Song Pavilion unlocked. Mm, it seems oh like shit! Operations have met with some success. Why do you always just sneak on camera? I've been browsing through some of the stories on Ghostly Grove myself. They make for good reading. Oh, that's you know how awkward that is. You're just like hanging out, like oh yeah, it's just a bunch of fake shit, nothing big, and then you don't realize that the dude in charge of the boat is literally watching it. What do you think about Destiny? Do you enjoy listening to storytellers and watching immersion? Yeah. In both cases, tales have a predetermined ending. But you shouldn't let that stop you from enjoying them, should you? Yep. Fully agree. I love all the Shonen Jump stuff, but you obviously know the main character is going to win in the end. The same is true of life. Whether the end is predestined or not, it's worth living. Wow, the way you delivered that line, Mr. Alejandro, that was, that was, I felt that, that was good. As the saying goes, serious divination concerns serious matters. It is inevitable that someone performing divination day in and day out for the Sienjo 
would acquire inner demons, uh. and Heliobus can take advantage of those. Fortunately, with your help, Fu Shren prevailed over her intruder. Yep. Good Fu Shren. Do you enjoy listening? No, no, to I didn't mean to click that. It was grayed out. I shouldn't have been allowed to click that. Very well. Miss Hanya is waiting for you by the suppression towers. Ooh, Miss Hanya. I guess we are uh, gonna do the next part. Oh, a chest. Ah, one of my favorite things in life. Chests. Anyways. Da -da. Da -da -da. Hello, lady. To catch Helio by on the run, the Ten Lords Commission has devised a few gadgets. What was that? That scared the. F Did you guys hear that loud screaming? Oh, dude, that scared the. Oh my God, that scared me so much more than I thought. Is that one of you? What is happening? Oh my god. It's like I'm playing Eastern Exorcist again. Which I really should continue that story. I, I only did half of it. There's always this peculiar smell coming from that person. I can't bear it anymore. Showling. Oh, it's you. Okay, interesting. Oh, I'm gonna steal your book real quick, my dude. Alrighty. I don't want to get too close to Hanya because it might accidentally start the quest, so I'm not gonna do that just yet. Uh, in the meantime, though, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, when people told me that Foxtrail Garden was long, I didn't think it was going to be this long. Uh, I, I'm i not trying to prolong Pina Coney. I'm just trying to get through all the previous story parts and, you know, get it all out of the way so I can progress down the story in, the, in somewhat canonical order, even though I've already tossed it side to side quite a few times now. Uh, but Fictional Garden will be done, we'll go to Future Market, and then Ethereum Wars, Arm Alley, all that will be off camera. Uh, and then, can you, Tail, can you please, like, God, I'm trying to talk. Um, and then we'll do the last part of the Crown of the Mundane and the Divine, in which case, then, Pina Colada will begin. So, hopefully, uh, hopefully I say soon, but there's just so much going on. Always so much going on. Anyways, that's enough rambling from me, guys. Adios. Ha wait. Was Fantilia a Hemamalaba? <laughs> How could that be possible? Wouldn't there be like a whole timeline issue? Never. I don't. No, no, no. I'm not. I just said I'm done rambling. Adios. Have fun all. <laughs>